Hey everyone, this is a quick video that will show you how to use QuickTime to create screencasts, uh, which are a great way to help students out by giving them other resources or uh, being able to go over things they may have missed in class or just have, uh, have your voice and, and your instruction ready at hand. So the way you're going to do it is, first of all, you're going to find QuickTime Player. Now I have it down here on my icon menu. However, you may have it here by opening up Finder and going to your Applications menu. You can find it there as well. Right there. So you can open it either place, but you're going to go ahead and open it up. And no window is going to pop up, but you will see this right here. It says QuickTime Player. That's how you know you've got it opened up. And you're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Screen Recording. <clears throat> now at this point, you probably are going to have um, you've got a little box here, we'll talk about that in a second, but right here you're going to have probably some sort of slideshow that you're going to show them, um, or a document you're talking about, or maybe whatever it is you're going to give them instructions about, but slideshows and, and things like that work really well. Now the two things you're going to want to check before you get started are this. First one, can you see your voice being recorded here? So if you do not see that, you want to click on the little arrow to the right here, and you want to make sure that internal microphone is, is uh, connected. Now, once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go. You're going to hit this record button, and you're going to see this memo right here. Click to record full screen or drag to record a part of it. This part is really helpful if you drag to record only a part of it, because you could have just the, the, screen, just the slideshow open in a small part, like that, <clears throat> and then hit start recording, and you can have like your notes over here or whatever else, and there it goes. So it's recording now, and the way I know it's recording now is if you look up here, you see that little button that appeared? That's the start stop button. So I go ahead and I record until I'm ready to stop. And once I stop, it's going to show me the video here. So it's recording now. And the way I know it's recording now is if you look up here. Pretty cool, huh? So when you're done, if you decide to keep it, great. You're going to go over here and you're going to close it. And it's going to say, wait, before you leave, do you want to export it? And then you will select, yeah, of course I do. You're going to name it. And then you are going to uh, send it. You should probably send it to your desktop. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and let this start to go. And there it is. My video is right there. Now, <clears throat> that's how you recreate them. Um, sharing them is pretty easy. You can put them in, uh, you can put them up on um, Final Sight. You can um, share them from Google Drive. My favorite way of actually doing it is to share them through, um, to share them through <clears throat> YouTube. Because attached to your Gmail account, you may not know this. Let me make sure that I'm on my right account here. But attached to your Gmail account is a YouTube account. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the little uh, waffle here and go down to YouTube. And here's my YouTube channel. And right here is the upload button. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it's going to open up a new window. And this one right here says... <clears throat> Right here it says, select files to upload. Now, there are four settings here, and these are really helpful to keep in mind. Public is public. Anybody on the internet can find it. <clears throat> you probably may not want that. Maybe you do. Maybe you want to put your videos out there to help people. But you could also put it as unlisted. Now, unlisted is my personal recommendation because what that means is unless you have a link to the video, like unless you share it with your students or put it up on your Google Classroom or your final site, nobody can find it. Uh, private can't be seen by anybody but you, and scheduled actually uh, becomes public but on a certain date. So I'm going to head and hit unlisted, and then I'm going to click, drag, and drop my movie. And you can see right here it's uploading, and then it's going to process. I'm going to go ahead and name it. I'm going to give it a description. I'm going to go ahead and tag it if you want, whatever you want. <clears throat> but when this processing bar finishes, it's going to be, your video will be posted at this address. And you can see right now processing is 95% done. It does take longer with longer videos. Remember, mine was very short. But when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and hit done. It gives me the link here, which I am going to edit copy. And then I can go ahead and I can put that anywhere I want. If I go here and I paste it, it'll take me right there. And here's my video. So that's basically how you create a screencast and upload it so it can be shared with your students.